what's up everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another day another beautiful one hopefully it is for you guys over there as well hopefully the sun is shining right where you want it to shine hopefully upon your beautiful faces anyways let's move on into side two yes tornado we're moving on to the first track of the side which is going to be arriving ufo interesting so we've got demons and mentioned in the per in one of the previous tracks uh now we have some aliens some uh some interesting encounters so let's go ahead and give it a listen are these aliens friendly are they hostile i don't know let's go ahead and give it <laughs> i have nothing else let's give it a listen and we'll talk about it a little bit after oh well, let's go they came in peace let's discuss arriving ufo for just a moment let's discuss arriving ufo so i do like especially in the middle section the instrumental part i really enjoy what wakeman comes up with with these very alien you would kind of imagine the motherboard uh on the computer of like the alien ship like on the mothership like that's what those sounds kind of sound like the kind of squirming synths and these kind of dashes of like button pushes and beeps and twirls like i like that it sounds really cool it kind of sounds like the idea of an alien language and communicating with us here on earth and then among those since like i said specifically talking about that middle section and a little bit onward i do enjoy actually how how kind of comes in with his guitar playing alongside wakeman in creating this of course alien technological scene and this arrival perhaps an invasion and then kind of aligning himself with the guitar and playing alongside Wakeman in there. I, I think that that is a really neat idea. And Squire's bass playing is always nice to listen to. So he's kind of like a net positive in, in any respect listening to Yes. I just enjoy his tone, the way that he plays. He has this rhythmic aggressiveness that's uh, as melodic as can be, but as harsh as can be. He just has a very distinct tone in his playing. Uh, otherwise, if I'm being completely honest, I, I don't like this song. It comes across to me as a filler song. I don't find anything really satisfying about it, meaningful about it, besides the little bit I mentioned about Wicked and How and of course Squire, uh, really, really good about it. It kind of, it kind of feels like a paint by numbers yes song, which I, I guess I just have, I, I expect more out of yes because of course we've gotten so much more out of yes. Uh, this one kind of just leaves me a little bit cold. These UFOs can go back to Neptune. <laughs> But what I do think is cool, going back to Wakeman for a second, is how he creates those sounds on the synths. Of course, I have a list of everything that he's using from a Biratron, which I've never heard of a, a Biratron or a Biratron, uh, which is a tape replay keyboard conceived by Dave Bira. So there were some sounds in there that were reminiscent to me of a Mellotron. I don't think it was, but there were reminiscent sounds. Perhaps that's what the Biratron was, uh, was being used in here. Of course, you have the poly mode, the harpsichord, electric piano, synthesizer, all these other things. But I do like how he creates those sounds. There's such a an array and a variety of sounds you can get, of course, out of really any instrument. But synths and the technological advancements in music at that time just lended themselves to so much creativity and discovering and adventure, uh, discovering all these different sounds and creating your different sounds. So I do like how he created that um, in this particular track, of course, going along with this alien theme and the kind of techno technology you would think that you would kind of see and hear perhaps on the ships there. So I think that was really cool how they did that. Uh, let's get into these lyrics here. I could not take it oh so seriously really when you called and said you'd seen a UFO but then it dawned on me the message in writing spite out a meeting never dreamed of before. I looked out into the night strange and startling was this voice of time just saying there's got to be a linking of everyone got to be a center it all comes flooding back so we are having a little bit of an arrival of aliens arriving through eons of time and mortal power of the future to behold vessels of a different impression none that we could ever hope to have known so look out in the night once they arrive on that perennial light impress a bolder empire of energy in the ships we see the coming out of outer space so there were some sounds in there amongst that that alien technology that sounded a little bit like volatile a little bit aggressive i don't know if these aliens are friendly or not but 
I don't know if they're coming to share their <laughs> their knowledge with us or they're coming to uh, share their warfare with us. You say there's no reason to conjure with the force as it has been known to be seen. You say I'm a fool, a believer. Put your feet on the earth. It is green. And then but look out into the night. Wait for they arrive to start such sciences anew. Uh, such appear to like the coming of outer space. So I think that he's hoping that they're coming in peace and coming to share their knowledge, their sciences, their technology with us, uh, not to necessarily, you know, put us under their feet <laughs> or tentacles or whatever. They're... <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the track, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can leave those in the comments. You can follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. As always, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you all later. Bye.